Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome back to a new Ninjago discussion video here on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Season 12 yet again, and we'll be answering the question of whether or not Season 12 will be good or bad. And let me just start off by saying we will be answering the question by not really explicitly answering the question because there's not really any uh, objective reason that we can have right now as to why Season 12 will be bad. All that simply exists right now is people's opinions and subjective things, but we're going to go ahead and talk about what the actual season could be like and whether or not it'll get a positive reception from the fan base or a negative one. Now, Season 12 really didn't have the best, I guess, start in the Ninjago community. When things were first getting leaked and first getting, I guess, uh, revealed uh, little by little in the Ninjago world, a lot of people didn't really care for it too much. I remember when the set listings got leaked for the Season 12 sets and they were talking about, uh, you know, the gamer's market, the arcade pods, all that kind of stuff, and people just weren't really having that, and a lot of people thought that was stupid and dumb, but I think when a lot of of, I guess actual images and stuff like that have come out for season 12 as right now we do have several images like official posters and things like that a lot of people I think have changed their minds on what season 12 could be now season 12 is probably going to be animated in the exact same style as season 11 as it is in this new sort of animation studio that's not uh, will film now it's under somebody completely different and it is the same people that did season 11 from my knowledge so again a lot of people might not like that a lot of people weren't really too thrilled with the animation studio change from season 10 to season 11. Some people thought it was a little too drastic, and some people really just didn't care for the overall tone of season 11 itself, specifically with a lot of fillery aspects going on, and that was only because the season was 30 episodes long, with each episode being around 11 minutes in length. I do believe we'll get something similar in season 12 with a fair bit of filler, which a lot of people probably will not enjoy. I know myself, I don't really care for filler too much, but if season 12 is going to be very much linked to season 11 in terms of the actual format, which it most likely will, be, then a lot of people might have an issue with that as well, and it might be a little bit underwhelming to say the least. A lot of other people might not really be on board with the overall premise of Season 12 either. I think it's actually really cool, and I can't wait to see what it actually, you know, looks like in the show, but the ninja entering a digital world in which they have to go ahead and beat a final boss, sort of like a video game, we've seen that in media before. Again, Sword Art Online is the most, I guess, simple thing I can go ahead and try to relate this new season of Ninjago to, because I've seen a lot of Sword Art, I've seen the entire series series, and this does very much seem like Ninjago is taking some sort of inspiration from that. Another inspiration would possibly be the Jumanji movies. I have not seen any of those, but I know enough about them to know that Ninjago is probably taking a little bit of influence from that as well, but I believe a lot of that does come from SAO, otherwise known as Sword Art Online, and a lot of people just don't really care for Sword Art. If you're not a part of the anime community, a lot of people don't really like Sword Art that much. I think it's fine. I think it's actually really good in the new season, but a lot of people just don't like it, and I think that has to do with the quality of the anime itself and not the actual premise, which if the Ninjago, I guess, media is anything to go off of here, then the premise should be fine. A lot of people just aren't on board with the whole aspect of the video game subplot going on. A lot of people think that's stupid, and a lot of people, from what I can tell, just don't really care for that too much. But again, as I said earlier, new stuff keeps on trickling out, more leaks and new official images keep on coming out, and I believe the fan base is slowly starting to change their mind on season 12 and what it could be. I for one think that season 12 is going to be an awesome season, but I can understand why some people are kind of a little weary going into it. I do understand that some aspects of this season are a little bit different when compared to previous Ninjago stories, but I don't think it'll be too terribly bad. And I think that's going to wrap it up for me here. If I had to go ahead and put a actual, I guess, label on on it, I would say that you really, you really can't because again, season 12, we can't really be judging it before it's actually aired. And if you want to go ahead and say that it's bad after it's aired, then so be it. I'm not going to stop you there, but I'm really excited for season 12 and I can't wait to see what it actually looks like when it comes out on TV in whatever country it airs in first. And Jago is always kind of lackluster with their airing schedules, but thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'm sorry if it seemed a little bit rambly. Again, I'm still trying to get caught up with the, I guess, Ninjago video making process. I've been kind of behind a few days here as, you know, real life stuff has kind of been destroying me, but thank you so much for watching nonetheless, and thank you so much for supporting my channel. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including the Marvelous Jan. Thank you so much for pledging to the $10 tier. As such, you will receive a spoken shout out and a written shout out at the end of every video, plus additional early access content on the Patreon page from time to time. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video once again. My name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell.